Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Please subscribe with your notifications on and I'll be posting daily Teen Wolf content. Channels like Jade's Corner and Teen Wolf News inspired me to make content and I've been a Teen Wolf fan from the very start. Now let's get right into the video. We open on Scott and Styles walking into the woods and it's a full moon. Styles says when his best friend gets told that he's taking a break with his relationship he gets them drunk. Styles is drunk and talking to Scott but Scott doesn't seem to be drunk and Styles says he loves girls especially the ones with strawberry blonde hair and green eyes. Scott says like Lydia and Styles says yes. Styles then asks Scott if he's not drunk and Scott says he's not anything then Styles says it's probably like not needing an inhaler anymore so Scott can't get drunk as a wolf. Styles is drunk rambling to Scott. Then two dudes take the bottle and Scott says he wants it back then he glows his eyes at the dude. The guy starts to get scared and gives Scott the bottle then Styles sees Scott's claws elongated. Scott grabs the bottle from the guy and smashes it into a tree then leaves with Styles. The guys are seen walking further into the woods then one of them gets pulled away without the other one noticing. The other guy then notices that his friend is missing then the alpha's hands are show on screen grabbing his legs, the guy is begging for help that the alpha drops him into the fire. Scott is now seen in bed and he's woken up by the radio and the host says Beacon Hills High School is now open as the search for alleged killer Derek Hale continues then Melissa turns the radio off. Melissa tries to give Scott advice about breakups and he refuses to listen. Chris drives Allison to school and Kate is also present in the car and he locks the door when Allison tries to get out. He asks for Kate's opinion on homeschooling and she opened the car door. Allison and Lydia are seen in the hallway talking about what happened the other night and Lydia says thank God for the protection of minors because people don't know that it was them. Allison asks Lydia if she made the right decision about Scott and Lydia says yes because Scott left them for dead in the classroom. Styles is now seen waiting outside of the principal's office when the sheriff comes out with a few other law enforcement members. He walks up to Styles and asks him if he doesn't have a test to get to and Styles asks if he found Derek Hale and the sheriff responds and says he's working on it. Styles tells him that he has to be careful tonight. Styles says he's never dealt with anything like this before and the sheriff responds and says this is why he brought in state detectives. Scott sees Allison and he tries to talk to her and the teacher tells him to take a seat. They are currently waiting to start a test. Scott's senses get super sensitive and he starts hearing everything. He then sees illusions on his test asking how many of his friends he will kill when the moon is full tonight. Scott starts to panic and continues hearing everything and he leaves the classroom and Styles finds his bag in the hallway. Styles calls his phone and he sees Scott in the locker room after following the sound of his phone ringing. Scott says he can't breathe and Styles gives him his inhaler. Scott recovers and asks if he was having an asthma attack and Styles says no he was having a panic attack but thinking it was an asthma attack stopped the panic attack. Scott then asked him how he knew, Styles says he used to have them after his mom died. Scott says he could feel everyone's emotions in the classroom and he says they'll have to do more than lock him in his room because if he gets out he might kill someone. The hunters are now seen talking about the Alpha and Chris says it won't go after Allison tonight because he's like every other werewolf and he will lose control under the full moon so this is their best chance to catch it, when it's unfocused. Kate asked what if it had a reason to be focused and Chris asked her if she knows something they don't and she says she just doesn't like surprises. One of the hunters asks about Derek and Kate says he's smarter than that and he won't be out tonight and there's cops everywhere. Chris asked what if he is and Allison's mom walks in and says if he is he should find him, kill him and cut him in half. In the next scene Allison's is eating lunch and Jackson sits next to her, he wipes something off her lips and puts it in his mouth and she says thanks. She asked him if he wants a bite and he froze then said what and she asked him again. Jackson says no and he rubs the back of his neck. Allison asked if he's okay and he says he's better than he thought he would be and she says she's mostly thinking about Scott. Scott is in the hallway and he's hearing all of this. She said she hasn't talked to him and Jackson says it's a good idea and she's asking Jackson if she made a mistake. Not sure why she's doing this and she knows that Jackson isn't a fan of Scott. Jackson says she didn't make a mistake and Scott got exactly what he deserves, then Scott bangs his head into the wall and breaks it. Coach says Styles has made the the team due to the pink eye epidemic. Then Coach says Scott is now a co-captain with Jackson and Jackson doesn't like this and Coach says it doesn't take anything away from him. 
Danny fully supports Scott because he's a good player and he tells Jackson to get a grip. Danny is a top bloke. Scott says to Styles that it doesn't matter because it's a stupid title and he can smell the jealousy in the locker room and Styles was shocked by this and asked if he can smell jealousy and Scott says the full moon turned everything up to 10. Styles then asked him if he can feel sexual desire from Lydia because he's been obsessing over her since the third grade. Scott approaches Lydia and asked if they can talk. He asks Lydia if Allison still likes him and Lydia says she'll always like him as friends. Lydia starts checking Scott out and she says that Allison made a mistake because Scott locked them in the lab to protect them and when a guy risks his life for you, you should be grateful. Scott asked if Lydia is grateful and then they began to have the most intense makeout scene in the series. Now Scott and Styles are sitting on the bleachers and Styles asks him what happened and Scott said Lydia likes him and she's totally into him. Styles is over the moon now. Now they're doing practice and Styles asks Scott if he's okay because there's seven hours till the full moon. Jackson's friends knocked Scott over and he did a kick up and went to score again. Scott knocks both guys over and accidentally hits Danny in the face with his stick and everyone rushed over to see if Danny was okay and his nose was bleeding. Styles asked Scott what the hell he's doing and Scott says Danny is twice the size of him. Styles says everyone likes Danny and now everyone will hate Scott. Scott says he doesn't care. Jackson notices that Lydia's lipstick is completely faded and Styles sees this and he looks shocked. Kate is seen showing Allison how to use a taser and she says if she had it the other night she would be fine. Allison starts crying and says she doesn't know what happened with Scott. Allison then mentions something with Scott and Derek and this caught Kate's attention. Kate asked her to let her know everything Scott said about Derek. Styles is now at Scott's house and he sees Melissa. She asked if Scott is okay and she says he doesn't talk to her much like he used to. Styles goes into Scott's room and Scott is there sitting and scares Styles. Styles took out chains out of his bag and Scott said he doesn't need anything because he'll go to bed early tonight. Styles then says he had a serial killer look in his eyes and he's hoping that it's the full moon because it's starting to freak him out. Scott said he's fine and Styles should go. Styles said he will leave and he told Scott to look in the bag to see what he bought. Scott took out the chain and asked Styles if he thinks he's going to let him chain him up like a dog. Styles then handcuffed Scott to the heater and said he's protecting him and getting revenge for Scott kissing Lydia. Allison is now in a store and she sees Jackson. Jackson asked her what she's doing there and he said that he gets the feeling that she needs someone to talk to because he's feeling the same way. Scott then rants to Styles about him kissing Lydia and Scott says Lydia kissed him and he starts to taunt Styles. Allison told Jackson that she didn't think it was Derek in the school and he agrees. Scott is trying to get out and his hand is bleeding and he's trying to get Styles to let him out. Scott says he's acting the way he is because Allison broke up with him and it's killing him. The moon is now full and Scott is transforming. Allison says her father is lying to her and she has a feeling that her dad knows more about what happened in the school than they do. Scott broke free and he starts running in the woods. Jackson tells Allison that he saw someone standing in the hall but he didn't see any features it was just a black shape and it got down on all fours like an animal. Scott is transformed and he's imagining Allison and Jackson making out. Derek threw Scott off of the top of the car and he restrains him. Scott is back to normal now and he asks Derek what's happening to him. Styles is now out and he sees an ambulance and a burned body then he finds his dad and hugs him because he's safe. Kate and Chris are now in the car and they see Styles. Chris asks Kate about the talk she had with Allison and Kate says she wants to know if when Chris saw the betas was one of them just smaller or could he have even younger too. Derek brings Scott home and Scott says he can't be werewolf and be with Allison and he asked Derek if there was a cure. Derek said he heard of one but he doesn't know if it's true and Scott asked what is it. Derek said he has to kill the one who bit him. Then he says if Scott helps him find him he'll help him kill him then the Alpha is seen transforming back to his human form and Jackson removes a claw from his car and puts it into Scott gloves and it fit perfectly. End. Thank you all for watching, see you guys next time.